Hey everyone, Alan Smith here from AssetTrucker.com and I want to follow up with you about a very serious situation that is happening right now. While most of us are concerned about issues like the ELD mandate, HOS, speed limiters, and a host of other vital issues, the ATA and other industry groups have lobbied hard to lawmakers to include the anti-trucker wage amendments, the Fisher and Denham amendments, in the FAA bill and the THUD bill. And yeah, you heard me right, that's the Federal Aviation Administration Reauthorization Bill. And yes, the Aviation Bill has trucking amendments. And yes, they will hurt trucker wages. THUD is a Transportation Housing and Urban Development. These anti-trucker amendments are designed to prevent truckers from being paid for all-time work. The goals of these amendments are to ensure drivers are only to be paid their miles driven, all known as piecework wages, or just by loads delivered. Both the FAA bill and the THUD bill will be voted on within the next few days or weeks. You probably noticed that I and others have been talking about this since late 2015 when Jeff Denham first introduced the Denham Amendment to the FAST Act in 2015. With help from all of those who called their reps and those in Congress who saw the destructive intent towards trucker wages, the Denham Amendment failed to pass in that bill. The fact is, however, these anti-trucker amendments have been an ongoing attempt by trucking industry lobbyists since 2015. This is because carriers and related industry groups lost against truck drivers in federal courts. The Supreme Court then declined to hear the carrier's appeal. Their fight was against state labor laws which require employers to pay employees for all time being on the job. This means for drivers all time working, not just driving. And for most of us, that means detention time and other non-driving tasks. These anti-trucker wage amendments are disguised by trucking industry by using phrases such as looking out for truckers. The deceptive wording is hidden behind other words such as rest and meal breaks, pulling drivers into believing that they are looking out for them, telling drivers that they'll be forced to stop to take these breaks. And this is absolutely not true. Drivers do not have to stop. Drivers are, however, paid for rest breaks and all their time working, not driving, in certain states. That's the part they don't tell you. Think of this, drivers. When was the last time the ATA looked out for you? Here it is, plain and simple. The trucking industry wants Congress to preempt state labor laws which protect truckers, creating a new law which would ensure drivers will never be entitled to anything more than their piecework wage. They are doing it by adding amendments to the FAA and the THUD bill. The ATA's primary goal is to keep you running hard as many hours as you can because they know that right now most of you only earn while the wheels are rolling, piecework wages. This new language, amendments, or provisions in both the THUD and FAA bills will keep it that way and will remove any legal obligation from carriers to have to pay drivers for all their time worked. Ever since the Supreme Court refused to hear their appeal against the state, the ATA and others have lobbied Congress. Let that sink in for a moment. Remember, it was Congress who included the ELD mandate in MAP 21. Who supported that? The trucking industry contributes millions of dollars to federal candidates, parties, and outside spending groups, many dollars to politicians that drivers have voted for. And I say it's time to make our politicians accountable. If we're going to defeat these anti-trucker wage amendments in the FAA and THUD bills, it's going to take, once again, a landslide of truckers and anyone concerned to call their reps. But it's easy. Just dial the capital switchboard and enter your zip code. They connect you. That's it. That number is 202-224-3121. So if you hear about the bills that's associated with words such as meal and rest break, federal preemption, F4A, denim language, or denim and Fisher amendments, take note. They are referring to the FAA reauthorization bill and the THUD bill. So call your reps now. There's not much time left. Tell them to say no to these anti-trucker wage amendments in the FAA and THUD bills. If not, the future for trucker pay reform will be dead and so will driver negotiating leverage. 
the extra 30 to 4 hours a week of work that drivers perform will be expected and will now be law. So call your representative 202-224-3121. Tell them to say no to these amendments in the FAA and THUD bills. We did it once, we can do it again. We'll talk again soon.